Ladies and gentlemen, participants of CADRA Conference 2020 Bangkok. My name is Klara Czeńska. I'm from West Pomeranian University of Technology Szczecin in Poland. I would like to present a topic Computational methods for examining mutual relations between the viewset of plan facilities and historical dominance, the integration within the cultural landscape. In the last two decades, tall buildings have become increasingly popular on the European continent. Not only did the number of tall buildings increase, but also their average height. This has a major impact on the historical landscape of many cities. Tall buildings have very large visual impact range and can be seen from kilometers away. Disturbing the integrity of historical dominance. And often destroying urban composition. It's symmetry, like in this famous example from Paris. The goal of this research is to discuss the method that can support a identification of planning of new investment in terms of the impact of the exposition of historical dominance. The method defines viewsheds for historical facilities, which are components of cultural heritage, and the same for plant buildings. The goal is to analyze mutual relations between the viewsheds. Viewshed is calculated due to the height of the building, but when we look at this kind of compilation, it's rather hard to read individual levels. That is why visual impact size method is also used in the study. It includes also information how much of the building is going to be visible in cityscape. Will it be just a small piece of it? Colors of the maps shows the impact power of the building in cityscape. Depending the analysis, they can represent the visibility of a building from for example, 20 meters in red areas, yellow from 80 and blue from 180 meters. In presented study, digital surface model was used for large urban area and orthophoto maps for realistic visualization. The above methodology was used to analyze the impact of new tall buildings on the historical cityscape of Katowice in Poland, in particular uh, facilities of former mine in Katowice, which comprise the Silesian Museum. The museum, completed in 2012, involved rehabilitation of buildings of former coal mine uh, with two major dominants, Wining Tower and Water Tower small red brick buildings. Only small glass buildings were added to the structure above the ground level. Most museum facilities were hidden underground to highlight historical industrial facilities. The architectural design of Silesian Museum is now a major landmark of the city. North to the museum planned is a new residential estate with tall buildings. In total, the plan includes eight buildings. The question is whether new tall buildings threaten the integrity of Silesian museum dominance. How many iconic vistas of museum will be changed? by the new investment. First, v VIS analysis were made for each of historical dominants, water tower and observation tower. The analysis includes seven levels for uh, facilities in question, from 10 to 70 meters. Each level is marked with a different color 
which represent the nomination of given facility in space. The third stage involved the development of VIS map for observation tower. You can see the area from which the tower is visible from 10, 20 or 30 meters. Second VIS maps for water tower was prepared. Then those two maps were linked together and points of good visibility of historical dominance were established. Those were the most iconic views of Silesian Museum, like this one. Next step was to produce an analogous v VIS maps for plant tall buildings. To investigate the mutual relations between uh, new residential buildings and Silesia Museum. Two VIS maps was produced for A 12 story buildings and B 18 stories building. They were also linked together. Having done all partial VIS calculation for historical dominance and also new residential buildings, we can finally look at the results of the research. A number of maps have been developed to show overlapping exposure areas, each for a different height between 10 and 70 meters above the ground level. This is cumulative viewshed for 10 meters, yellow, is a cumulative visibility of historical dominance. Blue is a visibility of new buildi tall buildings. And red is visibility of both historical dominance and plant buildings. We can observe that uh, the, uh, the cumulative view shed increased with the height of the building plants. This enlarged the area mark red and reduce the visibility of dominance, yellow. It means that buildings plan, plant will uh, have a major impact on the exposure of historical facilities. Cumulative viewshed results are presented also in table. Columns two and three show cumulative viewshed group A and uh, for historical dominance and group B for eight new buildings. Column 4 refers to the common part of, of with overlapping viewsheds of group A and group B. And uh, column 5 and 6 are the most important. They show the degree of interference of new buildings with uh, the facilities of Silesia Museum. The majority of vistas uh, from 60 to 80 percent will be changed by the visual pr uh, presence of new tall buildings. Uh, 56 to 67 of vistas with, pl with planned buildings will include also historical dominance as well. What does it really mean to for the cityscape? It means that in the majority of viewpoints examined, new buildings can be seen in the background of historical facilities. That is to say that the previous role in the cityscape as primary dominance is going to be changed. Those facilities will lose their initial integrity and will no longer be observed against the background of the sky. And their delicate, uh, partly transparent structure will be dominated by new buildings. Thank you for your attention.